Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off a new vlog and I'm starting it off on a good note. I just went to Target and Trader Joe's. I feel like Trader Joe's is gonna be my new go-to grocery store because the way the prices are at Shaw's and Stop and Shop, it's just not logical anymore. Like I might as well just suck it up and do all my grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. The issue is with Trader Joe's is I normally just get like all the snacks and nothing that actually makes meals. But I tried to be good this time and get healthy stuff because I'm really trying to eat as healthy as I possibly can and just like treat my body really good because summer is around the corner and I wanna feel good. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. It's gonna be a little weekly vlog, but I'm starting it off on a Tuesday. I don't know what I did yesterday. I have so much to update you guys on within the apartment as well, but let's just go through this haul because I need to like start putting stuff away. I'm gonna start with Target because this stuff has been sitting in my car for a little bit. First thing, this is very important. I need to put these in the freezer, but these chicken strips, blackened chicken strips. I get them at Target. I posted them on my Instagram story the other day. These are fire. Literally the best chicken ever. The macros on them are really good, honestly. Like they're pretty low calorie. I just pop them in the oven on the heat that they recommend for like 20 minutes. And then I broil them at the end to get them nice and crispy. So good on salads. I make chicken tacos with them. They're a little spicy, but not too spicy. And when I posted them on my Instagram story, everybody was asking where I found them because I guess they're hard to find in certain parts of the States. So check out your local Target if you want to find those. I haven't checked at Shaw's or Stop and Shop if they sell them there, but I found them at Target. And then I got two creamers this morning when I went to have my coffee, I realized I was out of creamer, so I'm not gonna let that happen again. I doubled up. This one, I know Kenzie has been talking about the Califia creamers a lot. They had a cinnamon roll flavor at Target. So I'm gonna try that out. It's an oat creamer, but we'll see. And then this is probably my favorite creamer, the Chobani sweet cream creamer it's really good and it goes with like every flavor of coffee that you're trying to do so that's everything i got at target i also got cat food now let's go through or start going through some of these trader joe's bags i only have two bags i got jalapenos they were so like teeny tiny Minnie, can you get away from my camera no don't touch the camera no 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 like look at how small these jalapenos are so i got a bunch of them i got some eggs right here i've been having like an omelet pretty much every day so i got some more spinach for the omelet as well it's like sun-dried tomatoes spinach pesto yada yada i got two things and put these in the freezer as well of the chicken soup dumplings i haven't had these in a minute but they're good to have in the fridge when i want something but i don't feel like cooking these are good and you can just eat all of them at once and they have 16 grams of protein, so not that bad. If you guys see Fendi over there, he's cleaning himself and he's being a little brat right now, so I'm not gonna touch him. I got some asparagus. I got some green beans. I'm trying to up my veggie intake. So I also got some organic broccoli. And then for the meats that I got from Trader Joe's, I have chicken in my freezer, chicken breast, that I'm gonna take out and let that dethaw and then eat that throughout the week. And then I also got my favorite, the carne asada steak. This is gonna be so good in tacos this week. And I thought this sounded good, spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. One link is 100 calories, 11 grams of protein. It does have a lot of sodium in it though, but you guys know I love jalapeno anything. So got that. I had one of these on the car ride home. Jojo's, I think it's pronounced Ube. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it's Ube. These are so good. Oh my God, I wanna show you what they look like. I don't wanna have another one right now because they are really sweet. But like, oh my God, when I'm craving something, like do you see how pretty? They're like bright purple. And I think Ube is like a sweet, a purple sweet potato or, or purple yam or something. I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's it tastes kind of like vanilla. I got like a slight almond marshmallow taste to it. It was really good though. I got protein powder pancake mix. I wanna start having pancakes on the weekend mornings. This is not from Trader Joe's. I went to my eye doctor and I got a six month supply of contact lenses. Because, yeah, I haven't gotten new contacts in so long. Anyways, red bell pepper. 
I desperately needed new salt and pepper shakers and they're so much cheaper at Trader Joe's like these at Shaw's would be like $11, $12, like outrageous. And at Trader Joe's, I think this one was $1.99 and this one was $2.19. So way better prices for seasonings like that. It's probably not as good of quality, but I can't taste the difference. I got two lemons, some grape tomatoes. This is so many though. So I need to make sure I eat a lot of tomatoes with my meals because this is a lot of them right here. Two avocados that are nowhere near ripe enough, but that's okay. Two cans of tuna. I've been loving tuna. Last couple things, these are my favorite protein bars. The Bear Bell um, Caramel Cashew. This one is so good, it tastes like a legit candy bar. If you see these at Trader Joe's, try them, and trust me, you will love them. And then the very last thing, that I got is some baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I don't know, I thought I could switch it up and have potatoes sometimes instead of rice because I do have a lot of rice in my pantry. But yeah, that is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Welcome to the vlog. Trying to stay healthy, so I got mostly healthy things. Nothing <laughs> really too crazy. I think in total the Trader Joe's haul was like $80 or something like that. So not too bad for groceries that will last me for like the next week and a half. But I wanna update you guys on something right now because it's happening live, real time. Let me see if you guys can tell the difference. The dirt pile is like half of its size that it used to be. So you can see they moved like a ton of dirt from the pile over there and then they spread all the dirt <laughs> all over here. I just wanted to update you guys because I think within the next couple of days, I think before the end of the week, this will be gone and it'll just be all dirt spread out because they're gonna lay down the grass pretty soon from what I heard. Yeah, there's the update. Again, I know no one asked for this, but I think a lot of people were really concerned for me with like a construction view and thinking that it was gonna be super loud and like ugly forever, but it honestly has not been bad at all and now it's going away. So it'll be nice grass pretty soon. You can see they put in a bunch of trees. So there's like two right there, another one. And then I have another one over there. All these little trees are in. So things are coming along. I mean, these buildings right here are like nowhere close to being done. I feel like they're not gonna be done until like August. I'm gonna guess September on that one because they take so long to do them. Things are really coming together. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but let me zoom in for a second. Oh my God, they have the whole like thing set up. So <laughs> they have the pool and they put like, I think even just like two weeks ago, there was no gate around the pool. There was no stamped concrete. And then see like, where's my finger? See that white thing? They just put that up today. I wonder what that's gonna be. Maybe just like some shade by the pool. I think that they said the pool's gonna open for Memorial Day, so we'll have to see on that. But exciting updates, you guys. I don't really care about much, but I just want this to be grass right here, cause then it'll be so nice in the summer when I can sit at my little table with the grass and no one's gonna be living in these, so it'll be pretty much private all the time. I'm really looking forward to it. I am about to build this bookcase and I'm so excited it finally came in. It took like, uh, let me think. So it took like eight days to get here, which I'm impatient, so that's like a long time for me, but I ordered a bookshelf from Nathan James and I'm gonna build it right now. I'll save you guys the boredom of a time lapse, but hopefully, all goes well. It does need to be drilled into the wall. It's going in my bedroom, but I at least want to build it and have it like leaning up against the wall so I can see what it looks like. Um, I was sponsored by Nathan James, but I bought this with my own money because I actually really liked the nightstand that I got from them. So I figured I would like a bookshelf as well. Scar, can you not be so freaking weird? Also, I'm watching Leo Skeppy, obsessed with him. Something about him just being so hardcore and like blunt with what he's saying gives me life. So I'm gonna watch him and I'm gonna build this bookshelf. I'll leave this linked down below. Honestly, a really good price. I think it was like 180 and a couple of the colors, not the white, but a couple of the colors are on sale even further for like 130. Um, and I think Nathan James has really good furniture pieces so far from my nightstands. So I'm sure I will like these as well. But yeah, I'm gonna build it. And then I'll show you guys where it's going and a couple other updates that I have. I did want to mention, I did get my TVs hung up. So I bought a new TV. I just went with one that was on sale at Target. That was a 55 inch. I believe this one is Samsung. 
I'm not positive, but it's uh, mounted on the wall. I need to wipe it down, but um, it has a new mount. I bought a mount off of the guy who does my TVs and it swivels out and you can like turn it. You can even turn it like up and down. Like you can turn it all different ways. And what I really like about the guy who does my TVs is if you can see, there's no cords showing underneath the TV. And then you can see right here, this is um, like a little power strip, I believe is what they're called, with like all the plugs on it. So he was like, if you wanna put lights behind your TV or like change something up ever, you can just plug it in up there. He's a genius, it's so good. So this is the first update that I have for you. It doesn't look much different. It's just that my TV for a little bit was leaning up against the wall and it was smaller. I put the smaller one in my bedroom and I upgraded to a bigger one out here because if you're sitting on the couch from way back here, like the other TV just looked so tiny. So I really like this size. Honestly, I feel like I could have even gotten like a 60 inch TV, but I'm happy with like at least upgrading a little bit and going a little bit bigger. I have some jazz playing right now, just like to set the ambiance of the room. But here is my old living room TV hung up in my bedroom. And then I did get this dresser from Ikea. I didn't film that because it really wasn't that exciting. I was just in and out of Ikea that day. And then the same day they hung up the TV. So I had a lot going on. This was like a week and a half ago at this point. But here's my dresser. It's from Ikea. It's the Malm line. It's the same line as my bed frame. So I like it because it's kind of like, you know, the same style basically since it's from the same collection. And it works out really well. I have like a lot of my stuff in there. And it's a little bit smaller than my old dresser, but that's okay since it's just me. I don't really need that much space. I'm planning to buy a white boucle, even though that's kind of like going out of style, but it was the only white chair or like chair in general that I could find that was a good size that will fit over there. So I plan to buy that pretty soon. There's gonna be a chair over there. I'm thinking a plant right here and then a black full length mirror right here. I don't wanna make you guys dizzy, but panning across this way, this is the bookshelf. I just texted the guy who hangs up my TVs and he said he'll come over this week to drill it into the wall. I did find my own drill, but I can't find the drill bit that I need. So I'm just not gonna risk it. I don't wanna put holes in my walls unnecessarily. Um, I just did temp styling cause I wanted to see what it would look like not empty and it's obviously leaning against the wall and then when he hangs it up it'll go straight vertical <laughs> against the wall so there'll be a little bit more space in between here but honestly there's a ton of space i feel like on camera it doesn't look like it but it's completely comfortable to walk around and stuff and i just thought it would be cute plus i have so many books so i thought it would be nice to have a place to store them on i think this is called the theo Theo bookshelf or something from Nathan James. Like I said, I'll link it down below because it's only less than $200 no matter what color you get it in. And it comes in like, I think like eight different shades of wood. So definitely check it out. It's metal on this part and then wood on the shelves. And they're honestly really nice. So I'm super happy with this. I love getting new home decor. And I just had to show you guys because I love it. So I'm out on my phone for like the past hour, but I got a package delivered and I thought we would unbox it. Not unbox it, open it up together. It's only one thing, but I have like a lot more packages <laughs> coming in the mail in the next few days and like this week in general. I'm kind of planning out outfits for something that might be happening in a couple weeks that could be really fun so i wanted to like be prepared and if it doesn't happen then i'll just have cute outfits in general but these are from abercrombie um i got an insane deal on these you guys so these are originally it's the called the satin pull on wide leg pants these were originally 90 dollars, and i paid two dollars and two cents for them <laughs> literally two dollars and two cents so the reason why I found a gift card in my wallet that I didn't know that I had, I think it was like a store credit. I used like a random code that worked for another 20% off and then I had like a, a credit or like a reward of $15 off my order. So I literally paid $2 for these pants. It was such a good deal. The camera ran out of storage, so I don't know when it stopped recording, but here's what they look like. I got them in navy and in a medium, but they do come in black, I think a cream maybe a green or like one other color besides the navy i think that they're really cute i mean I hopefully these fit me 
they actually look a little bit big to be honest and i got them in the regular length i didn't know or did i get them in the long length i forget which one i did because sometimes abercrombie's pants are like high waters on me they look so weird and i'm only five foot five and i feel like i don't have like super long legs so i don't know why they always look like they're just like floating above my ankle like their jeans and stuff and i even have like a couple pairs of cargo pants from them that do that as well so i think i got the long version or maybe i did get the regular i don't know but we'll see how these fit all right so i ended up trying it on with the bodysuit that i was planning on wearing it with this is a navy bodysuit from zara and then for the outfit i env had envisioned in my head i would be wearing like tan platform sandals um but i just don't know if i should exchange these pants for a size small because this is the medium and like they fit fine but i feel like they look really slouchy if it's translating on camera but they're just kind of like really big on me like not like i don't know how to describe it they just look kind of like actual pajama pants and i feel like if they were a small and they were maybe like a little bit more fitted on my butt and stuff that they would look a little bit better i don't know you guys let me know what you think i mean they're cute it's just like in the crotch too by the time you guys see this video i've already made a decision i'm gonna see if they have them in store anywhere and then maybe i can exchange that way to make things easier all right i put them all back in the packaging the same way they came i'm embarrassed that i opened it like an animal but i'm going to the abercrombie one of the abercrombies near me tomorrow and i called and they have a navy one in a size small so i'm gonna go try it on and see if the small hopefully fits a little bit better because I was really excited about these pants, especially because I got them for $2. So tomorrow we'll go to the mall in exchange, hopefully. Hungry and I just want something quick. So I'm having the soup dumplings. I already added soy sauce to them and I was gonna tell you guys, if you're looking for, or if you need to buy a new chili oil, get this one instead of the one from Trader Joe's. So dark. Momofuku one, I get it at Target. It's more expensive, but it's so good and it's way, spicier than the one from trader joe's because i don't really like the one from trader joe's ever since i tried this one i was like this one is just so much better so yeah i kind of had a lot but this is like my guilty pleasure food so good super quick i didn't vlog in there because i was literally in abercrombie i browsed at nordstrom and i went to sephora and that was it so i exchanged my pants for a size small the size small fits me way better it looks way less i'm glad i exchanged them because it looks way less pajama-esque like the mediums just looked so big on me it looked like i was kind of bumming it and i want it to look like an elevated beachy look so that's why i exchanged them and then i did get like a bodysuit as well i filmed like a little clip in the dressing room i'll insert that here I'll probably show you guys the bodysuit at home as well it's just a nude bodysuit i was gonna order one in like that exact bodysuit from skims but i figured if i can get one in store and know that it fits because i got it in a size small as well i guess abercrombie runs like a little bit big but anyways then i went into sephora because i needed chapstick so bad so i got this buxom this is in the shade big o so it's basically just clear so on brands that i ran out of storage but i was saying that this is a lip plumping chapstick i own this in 
um like a darker kind of like burgundy color i've shown on the vlogs before i really like it the sephora was out of like literally every single product ever like their shelves were cleared which makes sense because the sephora sale just ended so i'm sure a lot of people were buying a ton of stuff i didn't know that sephora carried glossier they had a whole section of that it was sold out like literally every single product was empty but they did have it in store and i didn't know that and then finally i went to Nordstrom on the way out and I got an iced white chocolate latte below do you guys prefer Starbucks or the Nordstrom e-bar if you have both of them in close proximity to you I'm picking Nordstrom e-bar every time it's really good wait does that does that chapstick make my lips like pink oh my god it, it does and now I need to go home I'm gonna stop at the post office in two towns when I go home because a package got delivered to my old apartment that a company sent me without me knowing and they left it at the post office and then my new apartment for some reason like they messed up the mail room or something so they had to redo the whole mail room and USPS would not allow mail to be delivered so I haven't gotten one piece of like physical mail yet at my apartment I keep on having to go to the post office and be like do you have any mail for me and I guess everybody that lives in my apartment is having to do that it's been taking so long to start getting mail at my new apartment but anyways I'm saying all this to say a package got delivered to the post office in my town that I live in now as well yeah I'm happy I got this over with I'm happy I decided to get the small because they fit really good so if you are interested in those pants I'll leave them linked down below just get them a size down from what you normally get. I just walked in the door. You can really see on my lips, I feel like now in this lighting, how pink that buxom gloss made them. This would look really cute with makeup on, but I think without makeup, I look a little crazy. But um, I have my stuff here. Blue pants that I showed you guys before, just in a size small. And then this is the bodysuit that I got. A little apprehensive about the color, but I have a vision for it for a certain outfit. So hopefully with like a tan, a pretty dark self tan on it will look okay i don't know what this is called but i got it in a size small originally 45 but i paid 35 for it it's just like a basic bodysuit but it's a really nice material it reminds me of the ones that i love from zara so much so just got that in nude and the pants from abercrombie and now let's open this i'm a little nervous i got two swimsuits from airy they were having a sale on swimwear, which I feel like they're always having a sale on swimwear, and I like Aries bathing suits a lot, so hopefully these fit me. I got this one piece. I got everything in a size medium. I leave these linked down below. I'm gonna try them on in a minute. I just started my period though, so it's not the best time to be trying on swimsuits, but I need to know if they fit. So this is the first one. How does this go again? So this is the top portion of the one piece. It's kind of like one of those like half one piece, half regular. So this is what the top looks like. It has like a little ring. And it just goes into a regular bathing suit on the bottom. Hopefully that makes sense. You guys, you get the gist. And then this other one that I got, this one was really pretty. It's kind of like a, a shimmer. I got the matching top and bottom. I really like Aries bathing suits. I feel like they're underrated. This is the top. Go, let's see if you can see it has Kind of like a, it's supposed to look like a, a shimmer almost to it. I thought the color was pretty. And then I just got the same color bottoms, but these are like high-waisted. All right, here's the blue bikini on. This is the issue with online shopping for women. I got a medium in those Abercrombie pants and they were way too big on me, so I need to get a small. And now these, are from airy in a size medium and i feel like i could have gotten a large it's like why can't like sizes just be all the same they fit but they kind of dig into my hips a little bit i think i'm just gonna keep them though because i don't feel like returning the bottoms and going through that whole process but yeah otherwise i think this bathing suit's really cute i like the top it's like cute and like shows off your chest a little bit but you still feel nice and secure i don't know how i feel about it because this like piece right here is off-centered obviously and i feel like it almost looks like i'm wearing the bathing suit wrong and that it should be fully in the center i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think but i might end up exchanging this one and if i go through the effort of exchanging this one then i'll exchange the blue bottoms for a size large like i don't know i just thought it would look cuter than it does on 
but maybe it's because I'm not tan and I have my period so I feel really bloated right now but I'm not that crazy about this one. Okay, this is the nude bodysuit on at home. I thought I would just show you guys real quick. I don't have to be too hard on myself right now because I feel not the greatest when I start my period. But objectively, I think this bodysuit is cute. So I'm going to keep this. Here are the size smalls. The crotch and the other ones were so low. And it just made it look like very sloppy almost so this is how the smalls fit I, don't know, I just feel like they're way more flattering than the size medium and this is the bodysuit again that i said yesterday that i'm gonna probably wear with it it's just like a navy on navy fit super cute i just made myself an egg scramble my stomach is really bugging me right now but i know i have to eat so i did two eggs there's like a little bit of pesto in there, a ton of spinach, one of the jalapeno chicken sausages from Trader Joe's that I showed you guys yesterday, sun-dried tomatoes, I think I already said two eggs, and what was the last thing? A little bit of feta cheese. So yummy. Sometimes I do this in an omelet style, and then I would just put the sausage link on the side, but today I was feeling lazy, so I just did a little scramble but it smells really good. Just got back from the gym. I brought my vlog camera down there, but I didn't end up vlogging because honestly, I just feel so bloated today. I was like, I can't look back at these clips after and edit this footage because it will be detrimental to my mental health. So I opted to just have a workout on my own, but when I was leaving, I checked the package room and I have a package from Aritzia. So I promise this is gonna be the last time I think I only get one more package this week on Friday. So this will be the one of the last unboxings that I have in this vlog because I've been doing a lot of shopping. But I'm excited about this. Hopefully this stuff fits. I don't know if I'm gonna try it on today for reasons you guys will obviously see. I need to shower, but I love the Aritzia packaging. It always comes in like these little bags with like a nice sticker on the back ordered from Aritzia in a minute, but I really wanted a new sweatsuit. So we're gonna see. I hope that this fits. This is, I bought it from the TNA line. I got a medium in these white sweats. It's a white sweatsuit. I got a medium in these. These are, these look like they're gonna fit and actually be like really comfy, hopefully. These are the TNA sweat fleece, cozy fleece boyfriend fit. So. Here are the sweatpants. I think the boyfriend fit is like not as high rise as like a, a typical sweatpant. It's like less high rise. I don't know. We're gonna have to try them on and see, but I like the white and they feel super soft. And then the sweatshirt I got is like this little quarter zip, little cropped quarter zip. I think I got this in a small. Let me see. Oh no, I got this in a medium as well. I wasn't sure because sometimes I've had TNA stuff in the past and it runs in my opinion, really big. So I wasn't sure if I should get the small because I didn't want it to look like I was like a giant marshmallow, but it's, the medium actually looks pretty good. I think that this will be a nice fit. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm making the most simple chicken tacos because I have still so many flour tortillas, or not flour, corn tortillas, and I need to use them up somehow. So I have three of those that I'm gonna cook up in a little bit. I have the chicken in the oven. I'm using the blackened chicken from Tyson that I showed you guys the other day. It takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes if you count um, broiling it. And over here, I already prepped everything else. I don't have many things to put in the tacos. I'm so mad at myself because I forgot to get um, on the vine tomatoes for some reason to make pico with. So I'm just doing, I'm gonna saute this red pepper and onion. It's basically the same stuff that I made yesterday, except yesterday I did like a steak bowl and today I'm doing chicken tacos, but white onion, red bell pepper that I'll saute up. And then I didn't show you yesterday, but I used the same sauce yesterday. It's so good. I put it on everything, everything that I'm making that it goes with like when I make tacos or like a, a rice bowl this is my go-to sauce it's just Chobani Greek yogurt plain Greek yogurt and the green dragon hot sauce from Trader Joe's best combo ever it's spicy and you can make it like as runny or as thick as you want depending on how much yogurt you add and it's high in protein because of the Chobani yogurt so yum but I just wanted to share that with you because this is my favorite 
combo for tacos or like I said, like a rice bowl. Here's what the tacos look like. You can't really see too much, but I put the sauteed veggies on the bottom, then all of the chicken. The chicken is pretty spicy, so keep that in mind. I thought it was more of a mild spice, but I just had a piece of it on its own and it's hot. I thought I would show you guys before I add all of this sauce though because I am gonna add a ton and it's just gonna look like a green sauce taco. It's gonna cover all of the filling, but so good, spicy and delicious. I think I'm gonna go down to the gym again later on tonight to do some more running because I've been really liking it and it's been clearing my mind. Not the most authentic taco, but it'll do. This whole entire vlog so far is pretty much just a try on haul, but here is the Aritzia sweatsuit. Now that I've eaten dinner and showered and stuff, lighting is kind of harsh and not the most flattering right now, but these sweats are so good because they're not as high-waisted, so I feel like they look a lot more flattering on like this part of my body because my torso, I don't know, when I wear sweatpants that are too high-waisted, it makes my butt look like I don't know, sorry for the descriptiveness, but it makes my butt look really long. And I feel like this like um, height is flattering on my butt actually. So I want these in like every single color. As for the hoodie, the only thing is I think if I were to order it again, I would get a small just so it was a little bit less loose right here. But yeah, there is the Aritzia outfits. So cute.